What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're out here in coastal North Carolina looking for the pygmy rattlesnake. They're bright red here and they're one of the most incredible snakes you can find. Let's go. Pygmy rattlesnakes are the world's smallest rattlesnake species. And here in the Carolinas lives the Red Carolina Pygmy Rattlesnake, an extremely rare and beautiful snake. Protected throughout this part of their range, they're becoming increasingly rarer due to the loss of habitat and the large amounts of illegal collection from the pet trade. I'm here to get up close with these incredible rattlesnakes to show you just how special they really are. So what we're gonna be looking for is a pygmy called the anywhere along these edges. It's gonna be really hard to deal with one if it's out crawling around. We'll be able to like at most get a shot of it, uh, but they do not sit still whatsoever when they're out like that. But this time of morning, they'll be coiled up, heating up, and uh, that's the time that we're gonna find them. You'll see them along here. You'll see them laying on logs. This is kind of high up, but uh, logs on the ground, pieces of bark. You can see them under the bark here, and uh, I'm looking for something bright red, so it shouldn't be too hard to spot, but they are small. Check this out, we got a snake skull right here. I wanna figure out what this is. I think it's a racer skull. Yeah, looking at the head, little racer. Well, not a pygmy, but uh, I think we're gonna see one out here. It's a really cool area. This edge is gonna be nice. It's gonna be really difficult to film one. I'm really hoping it'll sit still, but uh, there's definitely snakes out here. I'm gonna put that back, but uh, that's really interesting. After many days of searching, all day drives, and hiking as much as we could stand through marshes filled with biting flies, I finally spotted it. My first red pygmy. Yo, pig! Pig, pig, pig! It's a red pig! Right there, look. That's a good size one. Yes! Yes, look at him. That's a... There's a second one. Look at that! There's two! This looks perfect! Oh my goodness! Yes! Those are Carolina pygmies right there. Bright red. That is gorgeous. Now, pygmies are very quick to take off. So, I'm gonna try to go behind them and uh, see if I can talk about it. I want to try my best not to disturb them at all. Well guys, here it is. This is the Eastern Pygmy or the Carolina Red Pygmy. This is an absolutely gorgeous species. This is exactly what I came here to see. Now this is a pit viper species and they are technically venomous. However, their venom isn't anything too crazy because of how little they have. However, he'd still give me a really rough time. Uh, a bite from this snake can be pretty rough. They have a cytotoxic venom and it's really, really painful. Not something you want to be messing with at all. A couple days of pain at least. And uh, it can cause some levels of necrosis and loss of feeling in certain parts of your body if you get bit by them. Now I'm not scared about talking with this snake because these guys feel vibration better than they hear. They have an inner ear, but they don't have an outer ear. Now this is actually a pair of full grown pygmies. I don't know if this is a breeding pair or if it's just a pair that happens to live in this area and it's coming up on these logs. But uh, these snakes, this is about as big as they get. That's why they're called a pygmy rattlesnake. And these are the smallest rattlesnake in the world. They are super tiny. There's also the western pygmy way out west in the Midwest. And even over by me in Louisiana, there's western pygmies, which uh, they're pretty rare there. That's why I don't really see them. Then there's the dusky pygmies, which kind of start in the southeast region of the United States. And then there's the Carolina pygmies. These guys tend to hug the coast along the Carolinas, and then they kind of come out a little bit in certain areas. But for the most part, they just stay along the coast. Now you can see they've got that bright red color. Eastern pygmies can have a couple of different colorations. They can be this reddish color, which this is the most gorgeous coloration. You can also get like a lavender colored pygmy, and you can also get the more common gray in many other areas. But uh, this is the most beautiful thing. This is what we came here to see is the red Carolina pygmy. They'll probably be about that long fully stretched out. We'll probably not get to see him stretch out because I really don't want to disturb these snakes. If I try to like handle it, if I try to mess with it, he's gonna get away, he's gonna take off, and that's not what we want with this snake. Uh, we really just do not want to mess with these guys whatsoever. They also are a protected species here in North Carolina, so you're not supposed to go and mess with them. Don't ever try to kill one of these snakes if you see it. You want to leave these guys in their natural habitat. They're a beautiful species. They live in these kind of piney coastal areas, lots of wetlands back that way. Let me try to get behind both of them so we can see both. All right, well guys, this is about as close as we're going to get to these snakes without disturbing them. Now, it is actually baby season right now, and believe it or not, these are full-grown snakes. And each one of these will drop a few babies every single year or every other year. 
And uh, one thing that's interesting is even if they don't end up mating, they can still have babies every year to every other year. Now granted, they're not going to have as many, but they're able to drop one or two babies without having bred within a couple of years, which is really crazy. I find it so interesting that they're just in these small, isolated pockets. And back in Louisiana, there's a chance of finding a gray, and a red one hasn't been seen in decades. But they used to be along the coast of Louisiana too, in just very small, isolated populations. But they are extremely rare. This is incredible to get to see. This one's just waking up. So I don't want to mess with this one any more than I have to. Like I, This is about as close as I want to get. I'm going to back up as soon as I can, because this one is awake. That one's still just kind of relaxing, sitting there. But this one's starting to tongue flick, head twitches a little bit. So we just want to stay very aware and not disturb the snake. As much as I would love to see one crawling around, I don't want it to be these ones. We want to keep these guys cooled up and relaxing. They're going to sun for the day, and once it hits about mm, just a couple hours from now, you know, kind of late morning-ish, they're going to head out into the marsh, head out into these little walkways to catch frogs. There's a lot of leopard frogs out here. That's going to be their main food source. They can also catch some other little stuff, but uh, frogs out here are one of their favorite things. This is absolutely insane. A nickname for these guys is the devil's rattlesnake when they're red like this. Now, these are a rattlesnake species, and they do have a tiny rattle, but you're almost never going to hear that. They'll shake their tail back and forth pretty violently when they're messed with, or they'll just do a light sway with their tail. But as far as rattles go, they don't give you any really good warning that you're going to hear, like your average rattlesnake, because this is full grown and they have a tiny rattle. Just like other rattlesnake species, they gain a button to their rattle every single time they shed. So the, the more sheds that they've had without breaking off their rattle, the bigger the rattle is going to be. This is an incredibly rare species unless you're in a very abundant area. There are areas along the coast where this species is super abundant, and then you're going to get areas where they're incredibly rare. So uh, that's pretty much what you're going to get with these guys. We've been searching for three days for this pygmy. We've taken four different trips. You can see these guys on the roads at night in certain areas, but uh, hiking them today was probably our best bet of finding one, and we actually found two, which is incredible. We saw one yesterday, it took off into the brush, and uh, one of the reasons that this snake is so hard to deal with is because they're so tiny and they live up in this brush. So if that snake takes off, you know, no matter how hard I try, he's pretty much gone. There's nothing I can do to stop him. They're not an aggressive snake species by any means, however, if I were to try to put a hand on him, the first thing he'd probably do would be try to take off. The second thing, after he realizes that I'm grabbing him, is he'd definitely turn and bite me. If I'm not mistaken, very few to no deaths from this snake species because their venom, they just don't have a lot of venom, and it's not as potent as other rattlesnake species. Their venom is specifically for their prey, frogs, little lizards, but if you do get bit by one of these guys, please seek medical attention. Uh, Anti-venom for this snake actually isn't super effective because basically of how mild the venom is. You try to block off blood flow and uh, really just keep the venom under control in your body for your body to fight it off and eventually recover. Well guys, this has been an absolutely incredible day. We're getting to see two Carolina pygmy rattlesnakes sitting right on this log. Absolutely gorgeous and about as good as today could have gone. That is incredible. See you guys. Well guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Got to film some awesome pygmies while we're here. It took a while to find them, so if you did enjoy, consider subscribing and liking this video. That's all for today, and we will see you guys next time.